why do we need vacation and how do you feel when summer arrives? Let's go with you, please, Mr. Hakim. Hello. Hello, everybody. How are you? How was your day? My name is Hakim. I'm 11 years old. And I, I study English with teacher Michael. I'm very happy to hear with us tonight. And yes, uh, for me, vacation is important to relax and spend time with our family. Great. Really nice. And thank you very much. And congratulations for your really, really good comment, Mr. Hakim. Thank you. Miss Stacy, please. Good evening, folks. How are you all doing? My name is Stephanie Angelis, but Stephy. I am one of the students of Teacher Michael. I am very excited to be there tonight with you. I am living in the United States. It's a pleasure, always a pleasure to meet to meet you guys and to learn something new about you. But don't forget the purpose of the class to practice. Don't be afraid to say something about vacation because I know since our childhood, we, 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 we used to take vacation. And until now, you're still doing it, but don't be afraid to talk. Thank you, Chemanko, for giving me the opportunity to speak about this question. I think we need vacation. Like the question said, it's a need. It's just something you should take it because when you take vacation, Today we live in a world where at work or uh, at home you have a lot of stress. But when you take vacation, that helps you to feel you better, like the other fellows already say. And when after the vacation, sometimes that helps you to feel refreshed and more prepared to handle whatever comes when you return. And also when you take vacation, that helps you mental your health, mental mental, because you can burn out, chronic sleep deprivation, low edge of performance. But when you come back, you come with more energy to keep going forward. I think that's why you need vacation to enjoy and to, to do your hobbies. When you do the things you want with your family, with friends, sometimes some people go out like in countryside to more enjoy the vacation. That's help you to, 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 it's like you were sleeping in the morning you get up with a lot of energy to keep moving forward to achieve your goal. That's why you need vacation, to refresh your mind, like Miss Martin said, to, 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 to think another way, to keep moving forward for another goal. That's my point of view. Okay, really nice, and thank you very much, my beautiful Miss Stacy. Let's go with you, please, Miss Noel. Hello. Good evening, guys. My name is Jusha. I'm living in the Dominican Republic, but I'm Asian. I'm a teacher Michael student, and I'm really happy to be there tonight. About the, the question, in fact, we all need vacation to rest, to be able to visit family and friends. So when you go back to work, we will give better results. And normally, for me, I speak for me, when I was at school, when summer came, I feel happy and look forward to enjoy it. But now, as an adult, uh, when summer comes, I only think of the great vacation I had in the past. Amazing, Mr. Noel. So proud of you, so proud of your answer. You are doing really, really good. Congratulations for your English. Now, let's go with you, please, Ms. Wozna Andy. Hello. Hello guys, good evening. My name is Rosna. I'm from an even 80. I'm a new student. I'm really happy to be there tonight. We need vacation because we live in a working world that puts us under a lot of dress. I'm feel really happy because it's a season full of joy and good time. Yes, congratulations. This was nice as well. Thank you. You did. Mm -hmm. You did really well. I really appreciate you. And you're really nice in picture, even though we don't really see you in video, but you're so nice. Thank you. And welcome as well. And Mr. Josie, let's go with you, please. Hello, hello, guys. Hello, teacher Michael. 
Hi, uh, hello everyone. So I'm so happy to be with you today. And so by my opinion, uh, I, I, I think everyone needs a vacation. Everyone needs vacation because it's an important thing um, uh, for, for, for your mindset. I can say that. So doing a vacation, you, you, you always feel good. You forgot your troubles. And, and I can say uh, for some people, after after a, a vacation, uh, they are more productive. So that's why you 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 need vacation. And uh, after a vacation, uh, not necessarily a, a, a summer vacation. Whatever vacation you you can take in your life, it will be benefit for you, uh, for your mental health, for your physical health. And I think that that's why it doing by my side. Uh, you know the situation is in AT. Uh, it's it's not uh, it's not easy. So I forgot to present myself. I'm Josue Jean Charles. I live in AD and and I'm a student. Uh, and I I mean, I I'm twenty twenty two, and I'm still learning. Okay, so I'm feel good when I when there's summer vacation. So even though the I, I can't enjoy my summer vacation. Now in AD, so I, I always feel good when summer vacation arrives. Uh, so yeah, and I think it's a it's a good thing. It's a mm. good thing. That's great. all. Great, congratulations, Mister Jersey. You are doing really good. You did a really good job, and you are in Haiti. You have the camera open for another situation. So congratulations, my brother, and shout out to all of my fellows from Haiti. Let's go with you, please, Mister Emmanuel. Hello everyone, especially Teacher Michael. My name is Jasmine Emmanuel. I live in NHT. I'm one of the uh, of Teacher Michael. It's always a pleasure for me to be there and a club like this. It's really, I, I think it's a good subject uh, because everyone needs vacation. For me, the summer vacation is my favorite time of the year. After many months at work, you're really tired. I think vacation is really important. It gives me a chance to relax myself and explore new things. And after you can imagine that, like a teacher, it, you, you pass nine or 10 months at work, you are really tired sometimes. You are exhausted, but I think vacation is really it's a good thing. But uh, during my vacation, I I do a lot of things for like myself. I play with my family, with friends, brothers and sisters. My vacation, and I I I think everybody needs vacations. Thank you, Jemma. Yeah, congratulations again, Mr. Emmanuel from Haiti, especially to Guav. We're so happy to get people like you in the club. You are doing really good. Thank you. Let's go with you, please, Ms. Zoli, please. This question is, is really important for many people uh, work uh, hard during the year and need vacation. Some benefits are to avoid, avoid stress. Also, we are not machines. That's why we need to rest. Really nice, Ms. Dolly. Congratulations. And we really appreciate your example as well. Okay, so now let's go really quick with you, Mr. Jerry, please. Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Jerry Francois. I'm living in the USA. Uh, and I'm a student of Homewage School. So I'm very happy to be there on the club tonight and I congratulate all of you for your efforts uh, to be there because the club is very important and I can guarantee you you're gonna have a, a really good time because we have a really important subject in life. Uh, for the question number one, uh, I can say vacation is very important because after many months of work uh, that can make you tired and we need vacation because Vacations uh, increases your motivation and vacation gives us time to take a break and we are then 
and we arrange things and we tend to work full of energy. When we are on vacation, so we sleep better. So, and we got more rest. Vacations help, help us to spend time with your family and also vacation increase productivity when we return to work. Because uh, when you're on vacation, that will charge our bodies and we return to work in full force. So, and we need to face a new challenge. So I think it's a good idea for every people to take vacation. And after many months of work, it's, uh, it's really important for your health and me. So when summer arrives, uh, that makes me very happy mm. and so excited because I know I will have more time to take rest, uh, to sleep <laughs> better, and also to play with my friends and relaxing me. So. Mm. That's the reason I really want. Uh, I can't. I can't wait uh, the, to the summer to arrive. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Thank you very much, yes. and congratulations, Mr. Jerry. Okay, guys. So thank you and thank you very much, all of you guys. Um, we had opportunity to share opinion about question number one, and don't forget the topic tonight. It's about summer vacation. We already covered a question number one. Who? I mean, which had two parts. Why do we need vacation and the way that we feel? Let's go please to the question number two. It's a kind of similar, but now everybody tried to say something about it. The question number two said, where would you like to go and what would you like to do? Everybody tried to raise your hand, especially those of you who didn't have opportunity to say something about the question number one. Let's go with you, please, Ms. Zuli. I like the beach. The sea, sea is beautiful. I like to feel the sea right on my face, and I can eat fresh fish. For me, is wonderful. Great, thank you, and really nice for a wonderful answer as well. So let's go with you now, Miss Natasha. Please, hello. Good evening, everyone. How are you? It's a pleasure to be there with you tonight. I have, I live in Haiti. It's a good opportunity for me to talk to you about this question. This coming summer, I have planned to visit San Diego Zoo in the south of the United States. According to the information obtained, I can learn, I can learn a lot in, in this beautiful place. And not only is the cultural diversity, but also I read preservation of animals of all types. Like, for example, really cool pandas, koalas, polar bears, um, and all African animals, such as rhinos, giraffes, zebras, monkey, Leopards, it's my dreams for this summer. Thank you. Great, thank you, and congratulations, Miss Natasha, as well. Let's go with you, please, Miss Natalie. Thank you, Teacher Michael, and good evening, everyone. My name is Natalie. I'm Teacher Michael's student. I like I live in Chile. It's a pleasure for me giving my opinion about this subject. Uh, about this question number two. Uh, during this coming summer, I would like to travel to Brazil. And in my stay, I would like to take advantage of its beautiful beaches, dances, and typical foods. And there are many other activities I would like to do during the summer. For example, a uh, visit in interesting places, go shopping, and busy relatives and friends. Congratulations. Really, really, really good plan and really good comment as well. Okay, so now let's go with you, please, Mr. Wenchel. Good evening, everybody. Uh, I'm very happy to be there with you. Uh, I'm from Chile. I don't know if <laughs> I'm Haitian. 
is not necessary, so I'm a chef. <laughs> Uh, very happy to see you guys. Um, so for me, I will. I would like to be to I. I will be go to San Andres and Colombia this summer. I would. I would like to go in Haiti. So it's very very far. It's very far. And it's expensive to to go. That for the reason I will be go with my family, with my son and my wife to Colombia, to San Andres, uh, to visit with my family. Great, interesting, good plan, good vacation. Okay, so thank you very much. Um, now let's go with somebody. I don't know, it's Mr. David or Miss Jeffia, please. I would like to go visit family to my wife, visit my family, enjoy the beach with my family, a go to mountain, look the the creation for the creation a play soccer with my friends my my family a preaching and then more i appreciate your plan as well mr mr david thank you and congratulations now let's go with you please miss erica hello Good evening, everyone. Um, I am Erica. I am from Dominican Republic. I am elementary student. I am teacher Michael, a student. I'm really happy to be today tonight. I would like to travel to Indonesia, but since I can't, would like to go someplace in my country, such ambitious monument and province. Congratulations and thank you, beautiful Erika, for your for your wonderful comment. And now let's go with Mr. Emmanuel, please. Thank you so much, Michael, for teaching me uh, about the second question. I I think it's a really good question. Uh, first of all, my dream was visit all all cities in my own country. And after, I will try to, if I can, visit other countries like Dominican Republic, USA, Canada. But like the situation we live in AT, it will be difficult for me to visit the uh, all city and my country. But I already visit uh, many cities like Jack Mel, Okai, but uh, you know, and the next month I will have my first one. It will be difficult for me to to go anywhere. But I don't know, maybe in next year I will try to visit other cities in my country. What I will do during the next vacation, uh, I will try to take care of my family, my firstborn, my wife. And after I will read more about uh, new things, English, study a lot, practice a lot, and play with other friends, play Ludo, Domino, and Cod. Uh, if possible, I can play soccer too with brothers and my congregation. And after, I will try to enjoy my, my vacation because I will have two months uh, during the next uh, summer vacation. Thank you, Jemma. Great, I really appreciate you. And I hope that everything goes well for you, especially the newborn and your beautiful wife as well. Congratulations, sir. And stand well, please. Let's go with you. Thank you, Chair Michael, for giving me another opportunity. Yeah, for this coming, for this coming summer, I would like to go to the United States. That would give me the opportunity to visit my aunt, my cousin, and some historical places. Mm -hmm. 
Very good. I appreciate that. I, I, I love it. <laughs> uh -huh. Let's go with you, please, Mr. Jerry. Yeah, for that question, uh, I'm going to have a breath. Uh, during this coming summer, so, you know I'm new in the USA, so I'd like to explore more uh, my state. And also, I'd like to visit other states uh, to see uh, some historic places and also to to visit uh, my friend. For example, I'd like to go to uh, Florida, uh, to New York, and other states too, uh, in order to, to explore all of the country because the United States is a big country. <laughs> you know, so, uh, so, but I really want that. But well, I don't know if I will have the possibility, mm -hmm. but uh, first, when the summer starts, so I think I plan to to go to Florida, mm -hmm. and also I I like to learn how to play some games like tennis because I really like uh, the sport. So and for the summer, uh, I like to learn how to play it and become a good player too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, great. Uh, <laughs> okay, I got you. Uh huh. Thank you and congratulations. Let's go with Miss Stacy, please. Uh huh. Florida. In my case, I can say I don't have any plan for the summer because according to my situation, I know I have nothing to come in my mind. But if I had planned before, I would have gone to New York if I had that. If I things go the way I I was expecting, I will go visit New York because sometimes you see New York in the movie because like Mr. Jerry, I am new in the USA, but I don't have any experience. I don't know. I don't know almost nowhere in the US. If I had planned to go somewhere to visit to like historical places, like I saw in the movie, to go to the theater to see the movie, like I saw it, I would go to the New York, the first one. The first place was when tourists every year come to visit. I will go here. What should what I want to to do during the summer, even though I will not go at New York, but I will enjoy myself, like to read stuff, to keep increasing my knowledge, um, especially in English. And I will try to fix um some goals to add in, to achieve during the, the next day coming soon. I think that's all. And the biggest plan I have for the summer is why while while I'm expecting for the, the things I want if it's still coming at the time, I think even at the end of the summer I will enjoy it. That's my point. Thank you. Thank you and thank you as well. You, you have good plan and you're in a big country. Everything can happen at any time. Uh-huh. Let's go with um Miss Lily, please. Hello. Hello guys. Um my name is Hitlin and I'm from the Dominican Republic. Um, well, I normally, normally I have many things on my mind, but I don't really know if I will have the time and the morning to do them all. I would like to go and visit a lot of places. Thank you. Great, congratulations. Miss Lily, Miss Jidlin, West Harvey Dorian. Thank you for your comment. And Mr. Mr. Josie, please. Let's go with you. Yeah, guys. For the second question, uh, I, I have a lot of things I would like to do uh during this summer. Uh, but unfortunately, as you know, the situation is in, in AD. Uh we can really go out we can really go to visit uh in the areas. By my side, I would like to visit uh, Kabaisha uh, and and the uh, Autonomous State because it's uh, really, uh, it was a project for this summer. Uh, unfortunately, I can't. Uh, I think I will stay uh, at the copy book uh, to, to do the same thing, uh, even though I really need a, a vacation because I work uh, uh, a lot. Uh, uh, since uh, the, the, the this year, uh, but I can't. So I I I think I will like I, I will stay and 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 the capital 
and make the same thing. But I don't know. During the next summer vacation, I will be able to, to visit another uh, country. So mm. that's all. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Josie. Mr. Johnny, please. What, what do you, would you like to do and where would you like to go, please? Yeah, I have a plan to visit some historical places and then go to the movie theater. They have so many beautiful I mean, movies. They talk about different type of culture. And then that can help you and that can help you to memorize, memorize some vocabulary, to learn something new about different culture, different and historical places. Great, thank you. Thank you. And we're we happy to, to know your plan as well. Okay, good. So it's going to be you, Mr. Hakim. Let's go with you, please. Yes. Uh, I would like to go to the beach and, and a water park. And for the country, I want to go in the United States for visit my family, my grandmother, my house, my uncle, my cousin, and Miss Yolanda too. And I would like a, I would like a, to ride bicycle and act, uh, and go to activities with my friends. Uh, for example, a run or swimming in the pool. Thank you for giving this opportunity. Mm. Congratulations, the leader hacking. And, and I think, Miss Yolanda, you're going to be like a monument <laughs> because everybody would like to go to see you. Anyway, I really appreciate that and you are kind of blessed. Congratulations. Mm. Hi, I am Stacy from Komoa Language Crossy. I'm going to give you a good news for you. For you, I'm going to learn English. Comme moi, Language Crisis a pédé à tes objectifs ça par moyen de nous qui fait sous Zoom. Si vous êtes un débutant, nous offrons anglais commencer depuis zéro. Il y a une classe qui a pas appris depuis le commencement, arriver à parler l'anglais avec facilité. And for those of you who already get some English knowledge, there are intermediate classes to help you improve your English and get more confidence in your learning process. I can only give you a little opportunity. Un domaine professionnel et qui permet de connecter à monde qui se dit dans différents cultures à travers le monde. Nous n'avons pas besoin de se faire du lundi. En plus de ça, il y a des avantages. Pour les avantages, il y a un WhatsApp où vous pouvez pratiquer ce que vous apprenez et appliquer. Il y a des gens à tous les niveaux là. Les gens qui font commencer, les gens qui ont un niveau avancé et les gens qui ont déjà parlé en anglais. Nous sommes là pour soutenir vous dans cette nouvelle culture. Le deuxième avantage, There is a free English club every 15 or 22 days. Club that is doing research on different subjects. For that, you don't need to learn English. You have the connections to different subjects. Each club topic is different. You can also invite your friends or family who want to speak English or who want to speak English. So, up to now, we've started a new session. It's me, Asa. You can probably get an email to me so I can get more information. Connections are the only thing you can get out of it. What are you waiting for to learn a new language? Thank you very much, everyone. Because until now, you are doing really good. We already covered the question number one and number two. Let's go now, everybody, especially those of you who didn't have time to stay thinking about the one and two. Let's go, please, to the question number three. It's a really good one. What are some popular summer food in your country? And what's your favorite one? Everybody, try to say something. Jafia, I'm so sorry. Uh -huh. Hello, good evening. Uh, my name is Jafia. I, my husband, are living in Dominican Republic, so I'm sorry I didn't do my introduction earlier. But one of our favorite summer foods is ribs. Cookouts. We go to the rib fest, and we try. I think there's 15 restaurants. They have different ribs, different sauces, different rubs. Um, they have street corn, macaroni and cheese. <laughs> My husband wants me to say pizza is good too. Okay, so now let's go with somebody else. What are some popular summer food in your country and what's your favorite? Ms. Zuli, please. Okay. In the summer, we Chilean eat a lot of umitas and pork cake or pastel de choclo. 
It is a preparation that is based on corn or chocolate. <laughs> Is thank that you, you know, Mr. Michael? Mm -hmm. I know, I know. Uh -huh. Thank you very <laughs> much and congratulations. Um, let, let's go with you, please, Mr. Natasha. What are some popular food in your country, especially summer, and your favorite, please? Thank you, Mr. Michael. Um, talking about summer food in Haiti. We first to a set of elements composing popular food. They are cereals of food items, fruit, meat, and vegetable. In summer, the population consumes more, much more yam fruit, gin, pineapple, and passion fruit are the most delicious foods. In terms of fruit, pork and good growth beef really is mostly in in summer. As for me, I don't have I don't have favorite food. I adapt to all seasons, and it allows me to enjoy good good health. Thank you. Congratulations. I really, I really, really love your answer. It's not only English, but you know how to say thing. Congratulations. Miss Stacey, please, let's go with you. Thank you, Teacher Michael. Um, my answer, it depends on where on where you are in Haiti. You you will know the summer food because each part of the of our country have different way to eat. But we know in Haiti. At this time, when it's summer, we have a lot of mango, what they call, to eat because it's the season. And sometimes, like, if you if you are in a Jeremy, you will have to eat a lot of tom-tom, like they call, um, kalalu and tom-tom. And if you, have, if you are at um, Atibonit, you have to eat a lot of vegetables. It depends on where you are. If you are at, at pork or prince, I know at this time people we we it's very hot. People hit a lot of fresco during this time. It depends on where you are at the time. For me, when I was living in Haiti, I if I want to eat something to to feel me good, I eat rice, sauce bean with vegetables. That's my favorite food at the store. My that my answer. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, congratulations. You're really intelligent and you choose the, 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 the good one. Thank you and congratulations as well. So now let's go with you please with Miss Ghana. Hello, Miss Ghana. Happy to have you. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Hello, Teacher Michael. Thank you for choosing me. I can add it. Um, in AD, the favorite food is white white with white corn bean sauce and fresh sauce with white and lalo my favorite food is white and lalo <laughs> interesting <laughs> yes you're true asian congratulations miss um and about you please mr uh -huh, mr jerry please yes okay so according to uh, my research i can say uh, in the summer in Haiti, you can find a lot of food like uh, the Asian legume. Uh, this is a dish uh, made with eggplant, cabbage, spinach, and other uh, vegetables cooked cook with meat and spices. And also, we find lamb bee, uh, Asian gumbo that's called kalalu. And also, uh, in the summer, we find a lot of great fish. Uh, and we have a lot of food stuff like kinab, mango, uh, uh, watermelon, so parasol, and also tamarind. So you find uh, a lot uh, that is kind of fruit in the summer in AZ. That, right, that's all. Yes, thank you and congratulations. And Miss Erica, please, let's go with you. Um, in my country, Dominican Republic, during the summer, they eat sancocho, eh, the Dominican flag, mango, fish with coconut, 
and Jani Keke. And my favorite is the Dominican flag. That is the made of, uh, of rice, uh, beans, chicken, green salad, fried, and avocado. Mm. Congratulations, Miss Erika. I really appreciate it. And, and there, there is something I really love. I'm going to talk about it maybe after. But now let's go with you, please, Mr. Mr. George, please. Yeah, Teacher Michael. Uh, you know, and maybe uh, at the at the moment, uh, the 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 there is a lot of they have a lot of uh, mango. You know, it's uh, the the number one. You know, AT is the number one when they talk about food. AT is the number one. Mm -hmm. Uh, you no know, discuss about that. And we are mango at the moment. I I hate a lot of mango during this moment. And we have um kenep and uh, watermelon, yes. Mm -hmm. And at the beach, I think people eat uh, a lot of banana with fruits, uh, with uh, meat too. But uh, I can say um, gut gut meat and fish. So it's mm -hmm. the, the the thing uh, people eat uh, during the, the the summer at the beach. And after, uh, like I say, like say the Miss Miss uh, Steffi, uh, we eat, uh, we drink fresco. Yeah, everyone in AT knows fresco, and at this moment, so fresco is a very good, you know. So I think uh, it's a good moment. Uh, it's a good moment, and lot, it, there are a lot of things. Uh, and after that, depending where you are in AD, where you mm. are in AD. Okay. Yeah, that's all. Yes, thank you, sir. I really appreciate your comment. M Mr. Johnny, please. You know, in Haiti, when we have a summer camp, uh, specifically, I mean, we are eating a chicken fry, a chicken fry. And we have some tropical fruits. And then uh, we have so many food. We have so many food that different people bring when we have in a summer camp. Everybody wants to taste what kind of food that you bring. It's very special. It's it's a it's an amazing opportunity to share with somebody with your with your own people something that you bring. You share it with with them in the summer. It's very important. It's very very amazing. Great. That's Thank what I'm mm -hmm. Great. Thank you, Mr. Johnny. It's really nice because it's already a good subject. We're talking about vacation and food, Jack. It's really nice. Thank you. And thank you very much, all of you, my, my beautiful people. You are doing really good. Your English is so nice. I really, really congratulate you, even though most of you are Asian, but we are doing really good. And the way that we are talking, people might think that we are different nation. All of us are Haitian. Most of us, I'm so sorry, not all of us, but we are living different part of the world. Okay, so now let's go please with the question number four. It's really good, especially young men. I mean, I'm sorry, young people, you have thing to say. So what sport do you like to play in summer? Let's go really quick, everybody. What sport do you like to play in summer? Say something, everyone. Mr. Jerry, please. Yeah, sport is summer, so... I'd like to play uh, first tennis and uh, second uh, soccer and also basketball too, because uh, these three sports uh, are very interesting. So I like to play, to play them in the summer. Mm, thank you. And you, Mr. Hakim, please. Yes, during the summer, I like to play football because uh, football is my favorite sport. And a basket is not my favorite sport, but I I I think I can play it in the summer too. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Congratulations, thank you, Mr. Jersey, please. So, uh, everyone knows in AD when you are summer, when summer arrives, we are only sport we play in AD. It's soccer player, yeah. Soccer player is uh, the best because we are we have a lot of uh competition in AT because you know uh, no school no uh homework so so young people have time to play soccer player and tissue so 
So I, I like to play soccer player too. So it's my favorite sport. And I think uh, every young people in AT have to play soccer player. And because at this moment when you have summer, there, there are a lot of competition in AT. Every mm -hmm. city make competitions. So there are a lot of young people play soccer player. So mm -hmm. it's the, the, the it's my favorite sport. Great, thank you, and thank you very much. And now, Miss Yolanda, happy to have you in this difficult uh -huh. question. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, everyone. My name is Yolanda, and I am living in the United States. Um, I am studying English with teacher Michael. I am very happy to be here tonight, guys. I'm sorry I couldn't give my point of view um, about these questions, but I said, why not give you my opinion about this question? Um, personally, I really love football. I enjoy playing football. And back in Dominican Republic, I used to play football very often with my friends. Sometimes we go to the beach and we just play football together. And especially with my favorite people, Hakim and Sakura, I used to play football with them every single day and I really enjoyed that. And like Miss Stacey and Mr. J, I am new to the United States. So I don't have friends here who played football. Since I've been here, I didn't touch a football ball, a football ball. But I go to the um to the pool with my cousins. And as we all know, swimming is a sport. I'm not a pro, but I will love to to learn how to improve the way I swim. Mm -hmm. And also some of my new friends here are very good at tennis. And every time we spend time together. They just bring their stuff. Maybe next time I will join them. And why not learning how to play it? Great. Well, yeah, nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. And about you, Miss Tafi, you're going to play tennis. Let's go with you. Um, thank you, Teacher Michael. It's a Miss Yolanda or well, my mind. I have the same point of view as, as she already told. I really like to play football. Where I was living in 80 and my congregation. Every last Saturday, we were going at a place to play football, and I really enjoy it because we don't play like a competitive tennis, but we play for fun. And when you play for fun, never no one get get hurt and no one get angry to also because you know when you play, sometimes if you are one or so the other person is not the winner, sometimes that can turn away you don't want to. But I really like to play football with my friends, not with no one else. Um, and I like to learn how to swim. I really like to go um to the sea, but I never know how to swim. But I think it's one of my my goal to learn how to swim because we're right here in Florida, um, um precisely precisely at Miami, they have a lot of beaches, beautiful beaches. But I would like to swim by myself. <laughs> it's what I want to learn how to swim. Maybe if Miss Yolanda finished to learn quickly, she can teach me. I count on you, my sister, my friend. <laughs> thank you. That's my answer. <laughs> Great. Thank you. And thank you very much, all of you beautiful ladies. Uh huh. Now let's go with you, please, Miss Elda. Okay. Uh, thank you, Teacher Michael. Uh, in my case, I, I remember uh, a long time when I I was young, I I used uh, to to went in the morning and jump up. So I I now I I, I don't have a friends to 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 go to sport uh, to go to sport together. So uh, now I uh, my favorite sport is walking to work. Great, it's, it's, it's a really good one. You take advantage of every single opportunity. Congratulations, my sister. And Miss, okay, Mr. Emmanuel, please. Thank you, it's Jamaica. But uh, during this uh, summer, I, I would like to play football. Sometimes we, in our congregation, we play with water. Sometimes we play with other congregations. Uh, the next two, 
vacation and during this uh, vacation i would like to go to to the gym because i i really like that but sometimes when i'm working it's really difficult for me sometimes i'm really tired i don't know i can't go to the gym sometimes i don't got time when you go to work early uh, that's why it will be difficult for me but when i have vacation i will have more time i will go to the gym and try to play soccer with our ball is my congregation. Thank you. Great. Congratulations, Mr. And Ms. Zuri, please. Thank you, Mr. Personally, I like to play volleyball on the beach. I don't know swim. So also being by the sea. Mm. Great. Uh, I appreciate it. Everybody trying to say something. Congratulations, Ms. Zuri. Um, Miss Martin, please. Wow. It's a lot of sports that I would like to do to do during the summer. I would like to, to play basketball, swimming, cycling. Mm -hmm. I am on vacation right now, but I start in with dancing. Thank you, Mr. Aiko. Great, thank you, and congratulations, Miss Martin. Miss Erika, let's go with you, please. I like a swimming and also basketball, cycling, and volleyball. Okay, thank you very much. Miss Natasha, please. Thank you, Mr. Maika. In my country, there are many sports. So I prefer swimming and summer. When I was a child, my father took advantage to go swimming with us, my younger sisters and me. It was the moment to meet other people and discover other places. Thank you. Congratulations, Miss. I appreciate that. Mr. Johnny, please. When I'm good in summer camp, is I like swimming. I like swimming in order to see, I mean, what's what's going on in the sea, what's going on in when people are going to grab some fish. That's why I like to swim. Great, interesting, Mr. Johnny. Thank you. Weekends, please. Hello. Almutai, good evening. Uh... In Haiti, there are a lot of sports. When I, when I was a little boy, my, my, my father encouraged me to go to to play football. I did I didn't like it from the moment. When I, I grew up, I like to to play football. But my spot, my favorite spot is bas basketball. I would like to become a professional in basketball. Congratulations. We will be interesting. Even though we are playing, but you, you take things what kind of serious, I would appreciate that and congratulate you as well. Okay, so let's go with you, please, Mr. Jelle. Hello. Hey, Miss, how are you doing? Yes, we're doing good, sir. Happy to have you. My favorite sport is football because, because I'm, I'm very like the soccer. The soccer, uh, when the the football is played, it's the challenge it, and, and will be for the uh, 90 minutes. So not border, not friends. So after the soccer, so it's the friends, the good friends. I like it. Great. Congratulations, Mr. Jalen. We are so happy to have you and so happy to have your comment as well. And I congratulate all of you, the other people, because you are doing really good until now. And now we're going to get the question number five, which is a really good one. And all of you people try to say something because it's it, it's a kind of deep but it's, a, it's really good as well. And I know all of you guys are going to say something. The question, the question number five says, are there any special events that takes place in summer in your country? 
Now let's go with you, please, Miss Judith. You get the mic. Yes. First of all, I have to say good evening to everyone. When I used to go to the summer, um, visit my family in the countryside because I'm from Port Prince, and they used to have neighborhood football even. Mm -hmm. And everybody come, they play, and some people they selling some marinade with sauce. Oh my God. And that was one of my best times when I used to go to the summer to visit my family in the countryside. And people they used to make like basketball, um, the one who loves basketball, go to basketball or football. And that's the one of the best um event I will never forget. Miss Judith, our dear sister, happy to have you. Let's go with Mr. Emmanuel, please. Okay, thank you, Mr. Michael. And my country, especially in my city, where each year and summer we have a Copa Festival. And then for me, you know, like Jehovah Witness, we have convention this year. For me, it's the best thing in my life when you have, when you pass three days and the work convention we have waters sisters we have in a good environment uh, we eat with friends with families with other people we learn a lot of things at the conventions uh, for me is the big a good thing can arrive and each vacation we have a, a real and the next month we have vacation uh, next July, 20 to 30 July. I prepare myself and my family to go uh, to assist convention with our brothers and family. We have, you can do next, uh, we can have uh, other friends, new friends, you know, it's a good thanks for me. Thank you. Great, thank you, and congratulations as well for sharing with us like your special event in your country. And let's go with you, please, Miss Stacey, say something. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I I totally agree uh, with Mr. Manuel because like your witnesses, we all uh, wait for this moment coming soon and summer for the convention. And each time it becomes different and more interesting. And after that, I remember when I was a child, like in my teenage, um, the email place in my country I saw, it's a lot of people who, who were at the conference where I was living and um, to go to the countryside to see the family, to see friends, to, to, to pass um, the summer together and to come back when the, the school will be open. And when I was growing up, like when I was in my, how can I say, when I was 10, uh, um, 20, when I was 20, uh, the place uh, for Jehovah's Witnesses who had op opportunity, it was Macedo. I really enjoyed this kind of things in summer for 10 years. It was very, very, it's, I think it's the most experience I have ever had in my life because you were visiting different places in your own country. It is the way I can I can see it's a it's a way to 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 know your country better. I think mm. it's one of the best I saw uh, when I was growing up in Haiti. It's everyone who has someone who live a countryside, live for friends, to go to pass time to do the things things like football. They call that champion in Haiti. It's the very, I don't know for the way the situation is still getting worse in Haiti, if they will do it this summer. But when I am, I don't know nothing because I am new, but I can talk about my own country. I mind. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you. Thank you, beautiful. Beautiful. Um, Stacy, really good, really good job. And let's go now, would you please, Mr. Josie, please with the question number five. Are there any special event in your country? especially during summer, say something, please. Yeah, thank you, Teacher Michael. So uh, in Haiti and in my area, uh, I think the biggest uh, event uh, we have is it's some first. Uh, it's uh, an important thing for, for people 
because uh, every 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 people go to the beach it's a it's a, 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 a i can say a, a big program we have a lot of singers a lot of uh, artists um, and dj come come in this festival i think it's the big uh, festival in Haiti during the summer uh even though the situation i think uh this 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 program this this event will be will be, will be good uh this this summer and after we have uh, a lot of a lot of programs a lot of events like at Tisui. you know the situation is now uh, it's 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 not the same uh because you know a uh, teacher michael uh and the, the, the old days in AT, when you have summer, when the summer arrives, uh, we we already have a lot of programs, a lot of people make a lot of things uh, because you can you can sleep during the night you can sleep because uh, each each area we have a, a program to suit like that you know so you can't sleep in NAD. so now the situation is different so I think um, uh, some first will be the 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 the, the biggest program as I said before. And I think, yeah, that's all. Great. So thank you. And thank you very much. And we congratulate you as well for sharing with us. Now, let's go with you, please, Miss Judith. You get the mic. Yes. First of all, I have to say good evening to everyone. And earlier I was trying to unmute myself. I couldn't. Um, mm -hmm. The best event for us as Jehovah's Witnesses, because we having the convention, like three days, different languages. That's the best event for us. But when we were in the world, like Mr. Josie Joshol said, Tisurit, that remind me a good Haitian Creole thing. I never been to Tisurit, but I used to be like, you know, I'm a marketer. I used to make festival, you know, like for a, a lot of, of them. I don't want to make, I don't you have to pronounce names. And I know when I used to go to the summer, um, visit my family in the countryside, because I'm from Puerto Prince, and they used to have neighborhood football even. Mm -hmm. And everybody come, they play, and some people, they selling some marinade with sauce. Oh my God, that was one of my best time when I used to go to the summer to visit my family in the countryside. And people, they used to make like basketball, um, the one who loves basketball, go to basketball or football. And that's the one of the best um, event I will never forget. But between us, even it's not summer because as Jehovah's Witnesses, we don't have time. We mm -hmm. make party, get together mm -hmm. and everybody can bring something different like here in the Dominican Republic. And number four, I don't know if I can answer number four. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Yes, that reminds me. When I use, thank you for the heart, Sister <laughs> Jolanda. <laughs> yes. When I use um, to play um, volleyball at school at College Bird, that was one of my favorite ones. And before I'm having back pain, I remember when I went to a resort with my children in Punta Cana, I played volleyball. Oh my God, my children, they were happy to see their mom playing volleyball. And mm -hmm. that's one of my favorite sports sport i'm sorry even my children they love basketball but the, the big one he loves basketball and baseball mm. i'm sorry basketball baseball and football and i said you didn't grow up in haiti how you like football he said mom remember i'm haitian <laughs> that's mm -hmm. been uh, in haiti we have different sports in mm. haitian we are good in football and basketball that mm. was my answers that were my answers I'm sorry. great Thank you, and thank you very much. You're really, really nice. And we're really happy to have you and with your comment as well, Miss Jerry. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Great. So let's go with you, please, Mr. Wanchi, and say something. I'm from Chile. Uh, I like I like the summer in Chile because it's the only time, only time you can organ organize a pool day. It's so good, very good. When you go to a pool day, you can see your friend, your family enjoy uh, 
you enjoy the the water you enjoy uh, the everything is so good it's very very good in chile is and only only summer you can organize it and this pool day okay thank you Understand? yes we, we got day. you everybody everybody get it okay thank you mr Manchel. mr Manuel, please well in Haiti, the country where i'm from there are always a lot of special events for example concert where national and international artists come to sing and play and also we have the most beautiful and popular event, which is Beach Picnic, where family and friends gather together to swim, having fun, and relax. Congratulations, sir. I appreciate your, your comment. Okay, so thank you, and thank you very much, all of you guys, because until now, we are doing really, really good. We are covering the, the subject. The title is um, Summer Vacation. We already covered the question number one to five. So now what we're going to do, we're going to try to make a little change. We're going to take our... our, our from Komoa Language Crossing. Moi pote yon bon nouvel pou nou. Pou nou même ki ta anmi apren pale angle, Komoa Language Crossing a pe do atteindre objectif sa pa moyen kou nou yo ki pèt sou Zoom. Si ou se yon debitan, nou ofou angle kamanse depi zero. Yon klas kote ap apren nou depi nan kamansman, rive nan pale lang angle ya avek fasilite. And for those of you who already get some English knowledge, there are intermediate classes to help you improve your English and get more confidence in your learning process. There is a WhatsApp group where you can practice what you're learning and apply it. Who are there to support you in this new departure? There is a free English club every 15 or 22 days. Clara is to do research on different subjects. For that, you don't need to learn English. You have the connaissance to different subjects. Each club topic is different. You can also invite your friends or family want to speak English or who will speak English. Ça va attendre pour commencer nouveau session c'est moi ça. Ou capable écrire un numéro ça qu'on soit capable plus d'informations. Connaissance c'est seul bagage ou pas capable aller. What are you waiting for to learn a new language? The question number six, it's about the summer vacation. What do you like to do in summer that you can't do at other times of the year? Everybody try to say something. Let's go. We're going to start with Ms. Yolanda, please. Okay, so I can cancel alarms. For example, if I wanted to have a productive day and the day before I had the energy, just I take my phone and put a six or seven a.m. alarms, and when that alarm rings at the time it was supposed to, if I don't have the energy to get up, or if I don't feel like getting up, I just turn it off and go back to sleep. But during school or work time, when it or not, you have to get up when you hear your alarms. So just being able to get up when you want to. Or you can take a nap um at any any times of the day. That's what that's why I love that's why I love summer and also that's the thing I can do during the summer that like for school or when I have to go to work, you have to get up early. But at uh, during summer you don't really have to get up early if you don't have, really have a specific plan. And also during the summer I have more time to take care of myself, my body. My mind, I can take time to read a book. I can spend time with my friends and my my schedule during summer, it's more, it's more flexible. So that gives me the opportunity to go out on service or to take a nap at any time 
of the day, like I said, and that's really um the time I can really focus on my studying or I can just study to learn new, I can just focus to learn new things I want to learn. Mm. Great. Thank you. And thank you very much. Stay in manner, please. Okay, thank you, Chair Michael. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, during this, uh, this vacation, I have a lot of things to do, but uh, I couldn't do during uh, my uh, day of working. You know, sometimes you want to do something, but you, you didn't have time. For example, and the summer, I have more time. I can read the many books, but I love that sometimes. I I don't have this opportunity to travel and in other country. Sometimes when you read a lot, you can travel and in other country. That's why I I read a lot. But sometimes when you work, you don't have time. You are really tired. You can prepare your work uh, each day. But I love that sometimes uh, when the vacation is wife, I can read two or three books. Uh, I I think and the next uh, vacation, but I will have more time to read. I want to make a lot of progress in English too. I will read more vocabularies, more sentences and expression. I will listen music, watching movie in English for for ameliorate my way. I speak in for make a lot of progress in English because I have a, I have a goal, but if I want to realize this goal, I, I, I must work hardly. That's why I will read a lot during the next vacation. Maybe I will have vacation and next July at the beginning, but uh, I will I will I will do something for that. I want to to ameliorate my English. That's why I will work a lot. Thank you, Chairman. Great, thank you. And thank you very much. And congratulations for your comment in English as well. Right, let's go with you, please, Miss Judith, again, please. Yes. This summer, I will try to go back again to the resort um, in Barbado. Or if I can't, Maybe I will go to different countryside. And if Jehovah is willing, we never know. Maybe leaving the country and go back to the U.S. And I wish I can go even to the border close to my country. Even I can go to Port-au-Prince. This is one of my goals. And thank you. And thank you very much. M Mr. Josie, please. Thank you, Teacher Michael. Um, so what, what, I, what I like to do in summer that I can't do a lot of that times of the year. Uh, I think it's um, it's summer camp because you know uh, each summer uh, we have an AD summer camp. So it, it's it's a it's a a place you you go uh, to meet other guys to to sing uh, to to talk to play. So I think uh, it's uh, the the thing I I I, I do. And I did it do do it another another month. It's only the summer because we are it's only three three months. Uh, I think yeah, and I think it's that that's all. Great, thank you, and thank you very much, um, Mr. Jersey, for your beautiful comment. Is it better to go to the vacation other country or stay in your own, Mr. Hacking, please. Personally. I think it's better to stay in your own country during summer vacation. By staying in your own country, you will be able to spend time with your friends and your family. Thank you very much and congratulations, Miss Elda, please. Uh, in my opinion, it's better to go and summer vacation award because it will really make me learn a lot of things that maybe in my own uh, country i don't have a uh, like even another language a new culture the climate of the country the behavior of people it's mm -hmm. extremely an experience when i i know i know the places 
Thank you, Mr. Michael. Congratulations, man. I have uh, kids. Mm -hmm. I love your answer. It's so deep. Not only English. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And Miss Tafi, please say something. <laughs> Thank you again. Yes. About the question, um, I I I'm totally agree with all the other guys. It depends. It's different. Because when I was doing my research about the club, I, I saw a difference between take vacation and go on vacation. When you take vacation, it's just for some days. The days count. But when you go on vacation, it's something you're already planning. It's gonna it's depend on your on your budget. It depends on the desire to to discover new things. It depends on if some people organize uh, the vacation, if they have opportunity to go abroad, some some vacation on um sometime this summer they stay in our in the country. The last summer they go on vacation abroad. It depends on the way the people planning things. I think both of them is good. Why? Sometimes a lot of person know a lot of country like abroad, but they don't even know their own country. That is a big mistake. When you go out, some people will ask you, oh, do you do that? How oh, do you do this in your country? You can even talk because you want to even know your country. I think both of them is good. You should mm -hmm. go out to visit, like Michelle that said, discover a new culture, to, 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 to taste new food, to have connection relationship with other people and it's better to, to know your own country in another way when you go out abroad to have things to take about your country that's my point mm -hmm. great congratulations my beautiful uh-huh let's go with you please miss judith yes um all the answers are good like miss Steffi said you can visit even your own country it depends of your budget sometimes you don't have money to take a plane or maybe even to take a bus to say, Let, let's go, or to have the visa to leave Haiti. And like Mr. Johnny said, you can even know your your own country like Haiti, or maybe if it's in Chile, or knowing some countryside, because with tourism, I'm loving the countryside now, not to leave, just to visit for a few days. And that doesn't ask a lot of money. You need to know your own country sometimes. Unfortunately, Haiti doesn't allow me to know more, but I know many places, not only Port-au-Prince, where I'm from, in Santo Domingo, I know more. And wherever I go, I love to travel. I know different states. That's really nice to be able to travel. If your budget doesn't allow you to go far, just go to the countryside and about the culture, even in your own country, you can tell, guys, we have different cultures, different mm -hmm. customs. You go to Cap Haitian, they speak another way. You go into the South, like Jacmel or Miraguan, they have another way to speak. It's different um, um, the way people talk or different food. You can even learn new things in your own country if you mm -hmm. don't have money to travel to leave your country. But mm -hmm. it's the same thing. Vacation is vacation. <laughs> Congratulations. Then. Thank you. And I think the other guys they learn. They learn. We learn. We learn from each other. Thank you. And thank you very much. Mr. Josiel, let, let's go with you, please. Thank you. Thank you, teacher Michael. So uh for me, I I, I think that depends. That depends on the person, that depends on your pocket too. Uh but by my side, I think uh if I have the possibility now, I will visit uh, uh, 11 state and AD because guys, we are we have an island, so not necessarily, but that depend not necessarily to 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 do a, a world. We have Basse Bleu and AD. We have Citadel La Feria and AD. Uh, we have uh, a lot of beautiful places in AD to visit. So by my side, I think uh, the situation is in AD is not. It's not really, really, really uh, smooth. So, my, for me, if I have the possibility, I will visit Jacques Mel. I will visit Cap Haitian. So I, I dream to visit Cap Haitian. So I think uh, that depend, that depend the person. And after uh, we can visit, uh, we can uh, go abroad to to make to to meet some some uh, some person to 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 know other cultures. 
But me, guys, I am an island, so I prefer to stay in my country to <laughs> to visit a lot of nice places in, in, my, in my country because I have an island. Mm -hmm. I, I have a beautiful place, Bassin Bleu, Jacques Mel, Stade La Feria. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, guys, that's my opinion. <laughs> Great. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Lizzie. <laughs> uh, I really appreciate that. And I'm so happy to have all of you guys because What's your you get favorite? this memory about Samuel. Mr. Jersey, please. Thank you. Thank you, Teacher Michael. Uh, by my side, uh, 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 my favorite summer uh, memory, it was about uh, five, five or six months, five or six years ago. I remember, uh, I remember uh, I, I, I've done many things. Uh, play uh, some uh, soccer and in a competition, and and go to the beach with my 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 coworkers, and and after I remember like two. It, it's my 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 last uh really vacation. Yeah, it's my last uh, summer vacation. And they, and after I didn't really have a vacation, so. It's it was a, a a good a good moment for me and I and I think it's my my uh yeah it's my it's it was my last uh, vacation mm. that's all that was really nice and I just until now I remember that yeah great because it, it was really big really good for me great congratulations Mr Jersey you did really really well tonight let let's go with you please Mr Emmanuel. Okay, thank you, Mr. Michael. Uh, I remember when I was two dead, uh, I was the capital. Uh, I passed on week at Jacques Mel. That was beautiful. I made a lot of visits and I go to the beach. Uh, I think it's a good moment for me and the other student and my place. And after I back, to the capital at the same uh, summer, I had a good convention and I passed two moments really important for me at the same summer. It will be a good moment for me. Uh, I think it's on of them. I, I had maybe two or three other vacation. I, I had a good moment. Thank you. Great. Thank you. And thank you very much. Um, you also miss Mr. Okay, Mr. Johnny, say that the, the last thing, please. I remember when, when I was a child, my mom used to go <clears throat> with me at the countryside. I mean, in order to see my home, my aunt, and my uncle. And when I see him, he gave me uh, a chicken, he gave me. And then when I get back to my and when I get back to my to my city, and then try to <clears throat> to take care of the chicken, try to take care of them and and bought him some some food in order to get in order to get the chicken and be 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 part of the family. And two weeks ago, the chicken I mean get embarrassed. It's, to have some some rebels in order to have some little chicken, that's why I remember it's a summer memory. Mm -hmm. It's it's a it's a way to explain my my hobby. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. I really yeah. appreciate that. Uh huh. <laughs> thank you. And Miss Yolanda, please. Yes, um, I got the same experience as Mister Johnny back in Haiti when I was a child. Um. My auntie brought us a chicken and we have to we have to take care, we have to take care of the chicken. Um, her name was Manushka. I really, really love that chicken. And she really became a part of the family. And we had some good time together taking pictures, but they killed the chicken a Sunday. <laughs> And I didn't eat the chicken because I felt like the chicken was uh, like my sister. And that was a good moment when uh, we were taking care of that chicken because it's like the chicken was really a part of the family, but it was only for me because the other guys, they seem liking the chicken, but they they wanted to 
the chicken to gain weight and eat the chicken and they kill the chicken and eat the chicken <laughs> Yeah, so sad. You already saw it. <laughs> anyway, thank you for sharing with us. Let's let's do it, please. Let's go with you. Yes. I remember a nice experience. My mom, when we were little, she used to buy some, you know, a small chicken. And she bought one for my brother, Elise. And the chicken was so small, so little. And... <laughs> He gave the, the chicken some of his appetite vitamin. And after the chicken passed away, oh, my God. And after he cried, he cried. He said, I give him some appetite vitamin because I wanted to get, you know, to get fat. And in this, and I said, oh, my God, Elise, you should not give the chicken some vitamin. And the chicken passed away. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Interesting. It's really funny talking about chicken tonight. It's related to vacation. Really nice. Thank you. And Mr. Yeah. Judy. Yeah, about your chicken, Mr. Judy. <laughs> you get the mic. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, <laughs> I didn't have chicken. <laughs> uh -huh. It's gonna be, be nice to have a chicken like <laughs> that. <laughs> and about you, Miss Jafia, please, something. I just I just want to say I love everybody's stories about the chicken and I want a chicken now. I never got a chicken. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I want a chicken. I say it. You have a chicken. He didn't have a chicken. I want a chicken now. You gotta have <laughs> I don't have one chicken. Everybody has a story about chicken, but I don't have one. But the one I have, it's the, I have a lot of good memory. But the, the one I have, it was, I was at uh, going, I was at Okai. And the the county was um Okoto. We were here for Brazilian and we we're going at Poapima to visit um a grot, like they said, to, to go to, to see. And where we, we we were about nine sisters when we were on our way to go to visit. <laughs> Some of them when they saw the way they're gonna do the darkness. They say, oh, no, even though we already pay, I'm not going there. <laughs> Six of us try, decide to go to see what's going on. Well, we uh, into the, the, into the, they say that Gruta in Spanish. I don't remember in English the, the, the name. When the sister saw, it was about 30 minutes. We, we didn't uh, get out of the, of, of the grot. The sister is still to be worrying because they don't want to go there, even though we were paying, but they don't know. Where we are into, the, the grid said to to close our eyes for 30 seconds. We are already in the darkness to turn off the light. We say, no, we're not going to do that. <laughs> the, 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 the man say, you can, you can just keep my T-shirt. I will not say, no, we're going to do that, boy. <laughs> But when we were getting out, but it was a great experience because it was a lot of great things. But the experience, it was very hard. I will never, will never go into this again. I will not, I will not appreciate that. It was mm -hmm. a great summer, but this experience, it was, it was good. At the same time, it was very scary. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wait, we can just imagine. And we, we were really scared. So, okay, good. So... And okay, about memory, I think, Miss Tafi, you get the last memory. Say something, please, because we're about to go, Miss Tafi. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go with Miss Elda, please. Thank you, Teacher Michael. Um, remember, I went to the Womana. My children and I were surprised to see all the sugar cane plantations. Mm -hmm. The the girls uh that uh, were a uh, carrying the the sugar cane, the stranger thing for for us, 
it was the trends, but the time to they came to look for for the can before uh, they uh, arrived. So they went. We all went to see because it was incredible that day. I I I was very happy, and so it was the best vacation vacation for me. Great, thank you, and thank you very much, and congratulations. And about you, Ms. Zilli, please say something really quick before we finish. Thank you. I remember in twenty thirteen, uh, we went to uh, we went with my son and my and my niece to the city of Coquimbo in the north of Chile. It is a city that has a beach. Uh, we went to the with to a restaurant and sang karaoke. <laughs> We had a great time. Is that great? Thank you. Really nice. Really nice experience. Uh huh. And great. So thank you and thank you very much, everybody, because we 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 had something really nice tonight. As I said at the beginning, you are busy people, and I know some of you. You are in Haiti, Dominican Republic, United States, right here in Chile. I know you You have a good desire. Some of you, you already speak English, but you are here to share your idea with your fellows, with your friends, and also entertain yourself. I really, I really appreciate that. So the best thing to show your appreciation is encourage your friend, your family to learn English with us. Do you understand? That can help me. That can motivate me. Even though I don't get chicken, but that can help me as well. That can make me happy. If you want to say something about the way that you saw the club, if you have some suggestion for the next time, you can just open the mic and go ahead. Yes, let's you stay, Manuel. Uh -huh. yes. I would like to say thank you to you, Sir Michael, for choosing uh, this good subject uh, for the club tonight. And thank you uh, with all the students. You did a good job and all the inviting. You were really amazing. Uh, I hope in the next club we will have opportunity to to share your ideas, your opinion about if don't be worried about we are friends, your family, and come with language courses. We have a good teacher. We have a student who is really kind. If you want to speak English, if you want to make progress, if you want to ameliorate your English, you can uh, keep contact with teacher Michael. Have a wonderful night, guys. See you. Great. Great. Thank you. And thank you very much. Thank you. And now let, let's go with you, please, Miss Judith. You wanted to say something. First of all, I want to say thanks for because you invited me to be here with you guys. And I see your students, they are improving very well their English. That's very good. You are a nice teacher. Like um, Brother Emmanuel just said, you're a nice person. You don't only see, you not only see the money, you see people, and that's a very nice. That's very nice from you, and that was a pleasure for me to to be here. Sometimes I can't. Sometimes the internet or maybe personal issue, but that was a very nice time, mm -hmm. and that was a very um, very nice pleasure for me to be with all of you guys and keep it up because mm -hmm. English nowadays. It's very important, English. Great. Thank, thank you, you again. Yes, thank you. And thank you. Have a nice weekend, everyone. Everyone, yes, please. And Great. Steffi, now she's doing very the best mm -hmm. of her. Mm -hmm. Yes. You are it's improving so nice. your English, Steffi. Okay. Bye-bye, everyone. Yes, keep have a good night. Keep yes, up, keep, keep in touch Michael. in private. Yes, have a good night. Yes, bye-bye. And mm -hmm. keep it up, my um, Teacher Michael. I'm yes, sorry. Bye -bye. See, I don't know uh -huh. what to say. Brother or teacher? I don't know. You can say we can say all of them. Yeah. Okay. okay thank you. Bye bye, uh -huh. guys. Yes, bye bye. Be, yes, be bye. Safe. Bye. Mm -hmm. bye bye. Thank you. Thank you, teacher Michael. So uh, I was very happy to to be to participate in this meeting. Uh, it was really, very interesting. And I'm enjoying this the, this meeting. And now I'm going to do some time before going to bed and thank you so much uh, thank you so much guys uh, and after uh, I, I, even though i don't have chicken i think uh, i will ask my mom to give me 
one. <laughs> uh because uh, every chicken i that i have in my life i i just i just ate them because you know chicken is created to eat <laughs> <laughs> so now uh, i i was really happy to be with you guys and i uh, and i enjoyed this meeting yeah, honestly mm-hmm. i enjoyed this meeting and i think uh it will be it it it, it was very good to to improve uh my english skills it's my first time I participate in, in, in a meeting like that. And and I'm very, very, I feel good. Yeah, guys, mm-hmm. I feel good. And thank you, Teacher Michael. And keep, keep going. And God bless you and your family. And I say you goodbye, guys. It was a pleasure to be with you. Mm-hmm. And keep in touch. Great. Have a good night, Mr. Mr. Jersey. Let me Zully go really quick. After Ms. Zully, Mr. Johnny. Yeah, just say something, and all of you are gonna go. Thank you, Mr. Michael. Yes. Uh, I'm very happy to share with you. Thank you, um, you brothers and friends too. Mm-hmm. Great, I appreciate that. Tommy Thank bien you. for all. <laughs> Thank you. It's silly. Yes, Mr. Johnny, go ahead, please. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate your this opportunity and this type of activity that you are doing. I really appreciate it. It's been a long time having that a possibility to have um this type of conversation. I really appreciate and all of you guys. May God bless you. May God <clears throat> help you to accomplish your dreams and. Have a great night. Have a beautiful weekend. And God bless you all. Ciao, ciao. Okay, good. Thank you. Have a good night, Mr. Johnny. Uh-huh. Miss Jafia, Mr. David, say something. And we're going to go. Uh, I want to say thank you, Teacher Michael, for this opportunity I have for the seminary. I'm very sure... So glad. So it's two time I have with you learn English. My my wife encouragement mm-hmm. encouragement me to every time you you have this class mm-hmm. class I can use this opportunity for learning English with you. So every day you you have this opportunity I. I promise you, I will be. I will be there. Mm-hmm. So thank you so much. I love so much your, your, your class. So continue that. Good, good, good job. Good job. Okay. <laughs> Great. Thank and you. I, we love you all. Thank uh-huh. you. Okay. Good. good so, yes. Have a good night. You too. Have a good night. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Have a good night, everyone. Good night, Majafia. Uh-huh. Say hi to the brothers and friends as well. Thank you so much, teacher. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh-huh. Have a good yes. night. Thank you. Yes, have a good night, everyone. Miss Tafi, you want to say something? Have a good night, of all uh-huh. of you guys. Oh, good night, everyone. Mr. Akim, Ms. Martin. Yes, have good, a good night, Mr. V. Bella, uh-huh. Elder, all of you guys. Good so night, Michael, everybody. The subject was very good successful. Night, everyone everyone tried to good say something. Good night. Uh-huh. Yes, have a good night. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hi, I am Stacy from Komoa Language Crossy. I'm going to give you a good news. For you, even if you're going to learn to learn English, Komoa Language Crossy is going to be an objective for you to learn English for you to learn English on Zoom. If you're going to be a good news, we're going to learn English from now. Zero. Il y a une classe qui a appris nous depuis le commencement, arriver à parler dans l'anglais avec facilité. And for those of you who already get some English knowledge, there are intermediate classes to help you improve in your English and get more confidence in your learning process. Après l'anglais, il y a une grande opportunité. Il y a un professionnel et il permet de connecter avec des gens qui sont différents cultures à travers le monde. Do not miss this opportunity. On peut dire ça qu'il y a des avantages. Au lieu d'avantages là, there is a WhatsApp group where you can practice what you're learning and apply it. 
Il y a des gens dans tous les niveaux là. Les gens qui font commencer, les gens qui ont un niveau avancé et les gens qui ont déjà parlé en anglais. Ou alors, ils vous supportent dans ce nouveau de culture. Le deuxième avantage là, il y a un free English club every 15 or 22 days. Il y a des recherches sur divers sujets. Comme ça, on ne peut pas parler en anglais. Il y a des connaissances sur plusieurs sujets. Each club topic is different. You can also invite your friends or family who want to speak English or who already speak English. Ça va être pour commencer une nouvelle session c'est moi ça. Ou capable écrire un numéro ça qu'on soit capable plus information. Connaissance c'est celle bagarre pas capoter aller. What are you waiting for to learn a new language?